hydrate shampoo and conditioner and I've been really trying to make an effort to take better care of my hair and to kind of maintain more moisture in my hair so I'm kind of drawn to volumizing products a lot of volumizing shampoos and conditioners so when I decided to purchase the Preology, I went with the hydrate line to just keep more moisture in my hair and I think this combination of the shampoo and conditioner plus not washing my hair as often. Since I just discovered that Batiste dry shampoo, I can go two or three days in between washings, which I just think is all working together to just create nicer hair. So easier to manage and it doesn't break as much when I am brushing it. And when I was going to purchase the Pureology, I was originally gonna go to Ulta, but I randomly found a shop in my local mall that has tons of hair products. And I think I've been in three times in the past couple months, and every time I've gone in, it is buy one product, get the second 40% off. So it made the Pureology, even though they're still very expensive, it was a little bit easier to purchase since I didn't have to buy them at full price. And I've been trying a couple different new hair products recently um, with that buy one, get one 40% off which is really nice as well. The main chunk of my July favorites video is going to be base products, specifically base product combinations that worked out really well for me. And the first is a primer plus BB cream. And the primer is one I have mentioned before. It is the Benefit Stay Flawless 15 hour primer. And this is a stick primer that I just very lightly apply. And you don't need a lot of product of this at all to get it to work. So just lightly apply it and then blend it in with my fingers. And then I immediately go in with whatever foundation or tinted moisturizer I'm using for the day. And when I mentioned this product in another video, I said it does not do a lot for oil control or pore filling. What this primer is good at is really locking in whatever foundation I am using for the day. And it makes sure it doesn't disappear or sweat off, that it still looks great at the end of a work day. So I was having great luck with the Benefit Primer, and I was liking it underneath a couple different foundations I was using. So I decided to really put it to the test and use it with a product that I had um, bad mouth a little bit in a couple favorites videos ago, and that is the Dior Skin Nude BB Cream. And I have it in the shade 001 Light. And in that favorites video I mentioned, I loved the color match, I loved the finish of this BB cream, but unfortunately on me, it disappeared really quickly. So to test out the Benefit Primer, I put the primer on one side of my face, and then I left the other side completely blank and applied the BB cream over top of it. And by the end of the day, I saw a huge difference. The one with the Benefit Primer, still looked beautiful, but the side that did not have the primer, the BB cream had disappeared and I saw a lot of redness coming through. So that completely sold the Benefit primer to me and I'm really glad that I was able to use up that sample of the Dior Skin BB cream. That BB cream is beautiful and so that was a really great product combination that I used for the first half of the month. In the second half of the month, Paula's Choice sent me one of their brand new products. This is the Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. And when I pulled this out of the box, I saw that it was a new moisturizer and SPF product from Paula's Choice. But what I didn't realize is that it has a very slight tint. And it is very light. It is a one, pro one shade fits all, so it doesn't have a lot of color at all. And when I first applied it, I loved how smooth the texture was, and I loved just the light mattifying effect it had on my skin. And I was very surprised to see that the tint actually worked out really well on my skin. It is not a lot of coverage, but I do have a lot of redness in my lower cheeks, and this just kind of helped even that out a lot. So as I was looking in the mirror, I really liked the finish. I liked the little bit of color that I got, so I didn't feel like putting a heavy foundation on top of it. So I reached my makeup drawer, and I pulled out the Laura Mercier Soft Porcelain Mineral Powder SPF 15. And I took this on a very large powder brush and just lightly tapped over the Daily Wrinkle Defense. And this combination of products is how I want my skin to look every day. Not a lot of coverage, but just lightly perfected. And I feel like with both the SPF 30 and the 15 from the powder, that my skin is really protected as I drive to work, you know, and sit in traffic and sit out in the sun. Just makes my skin, like it feels like I'm doing good things for my skin. So those were my two um, duos for foundation that really worked out well for me in the month of July. A brush favorite for the month of July is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. 
and I used to use this all the time before I purchased the Bobbi Brown blush brush. So I pulled this one out this month and wanted to get some use out of it because it is a really nice brush and it is actually excellent for applying bronzer if you kind of want an really easy all over bronzed look. It's a little bit too large to do any kind of like detailed contouring but if you just want to apply bronzer lightly and in large areas this brush is great for that. I kind of start back here by my ear and just work down a little bit and then work down my jaw and down my neck and then I kind of move to the perimeters of my forehead and it just gives a really soft diffused look with bronzer so I've been using that a ton this month. A product I have loved to carry around in my purse is the Josie Marin Argan Creamy Concealer Crayon. And I had been having such great luck with Josie Marin products that a couple months ago, on a whim, I ordered this off of QVC. And it is a very large jumbo concealer crayon that is retractable. So first of all, the packaging is fantastic and makes it perfect for keeping with you. And what I like to do is Pretty much no matter what concealer I use in the morning, even if it is a waterproof one, redness around my nose always breaks through throughout the day. So I just keep this in my purse and then when I leave work it's really easy to just draw this on the redness and then pat it in with my fingers. This is a super lightweight concealer, it doesn't tug at my skin at all when I apply it, and it blends easily, but the best thing about it, it's not cakey at all. It's not the most coverage, but I love that I don't have to worry about it looking like too much over top of makeup I've already been wearing. So it's just really good to kind of freshen up your look at the end of the day. So I have loved keeping this in my purse. Moving into some colored products finally. First I wanted to mention the Lorac Pro to Go palette, which I have talked a lot about this month. But specifically out of the palette, I wanted to mention Chai, which is a beautiful shimmery bronze. And how I've been using Chai is smudged pretty heavily on my lower lash line. And this color is beautiful, but it's not too heavy or too dramatic, so it doesn't weigh my eye look down. But I love the little bit of subtle smokiness that it gives just an everyday look. My last favorite for the month are the NYX Butter Glosses, and I love these lip glosses. The price is great, they have really nice pigmentation, they are so smooth on the lips, they have a really nice smell, and they're not sticky at all, but they have a really good lasting time, so I don't have to reapply too often. And when they do wear off, my lips feel really nice and hydrated. They don't feel dry in the slightest. I've been disappointed with some drugstore lip products lately, but these NYX glosses are fantastic. And a lot of times you can find them at Ulta when NYX is buy one, get one half off. So I think Vanilla, vanilla Cream Pie was my most worn shade this month. I hope you enjoyed seeing my favorite products from the month of July. Please let me know if you have any product recommendations for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.